New tonight, some shocking claims of sexual harassment and sexual assault. The city of Elk Grove, its police department and a police sergeant have all been named in a lawsuit. A woman claims the law enforcement officer took advantage of her after she called 911 for help and threatened to harm her son if she didn't cooperate with his demands. KCRA3's Walter McCallis spoke to her attorney to find out more about her accusation. And we do want to warn you, some of these details are graphic. On April 11th of this year, the plaintiff, a 41 year old single mother, says she called 911 to report someone was outside her Elk Grove home stealing her catalytic converter. By the time they got there, the, uh, the thieves had made off with the catalytic converter. The woman's attorney, Mark Marin, says after most of the officers left, one of them, a sergeant, stayed back and asked her a couple of questions. Asked if he could speak to her husband because he had some additional details he had to get. Uh, she said, well, I'm not married. And uh, at that point, he said, well, then I, I, I need your phone number so that I can be in touch with you to follow up on some of these details. He says the sergeant called his client later that day and continued to call her regularly. And the comments he made became more and more inappropriate. Then he, uh, he said, look, I'm interested in you. This is over a period of time. He was calling her Daily, I'm in, I'm interested in you. And she said, "Well, you know, what what do you mean?" He said, "Well, I'm I'm interested in 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 sex." And she said, "Well, that's just entirely inappropriate." According to the lawsuit, the sergeant used threats of harm to her son to coerce the plaintiff into renting a room at the Sacramento Marriott Rancho Cordova. The lawsuit went on to say that he instructed her to buy and wear black lingerie and high-heeled black shoes, to wear perfume, and to meet him at the hotel. He also reportedly said that he would reimburse her for the cost of the hotel room and the clothing he had instructed her to buy and wear. He came in and, you know, undressed himself and had sex with her and then got up, showered, and he was basically off and he said, oh, but, you know, here's here's two hundred thirty dollars. This covers the cost of the room and the clothes. Uh, and but I'll but stay here because I'm coming back later for more. He said she felt horrible and instead confided in a family member who urged her to call the police and file a report. Marin says his client was taken to the hospital and was given a rape kit. Police took her clothing and the $230 cash, which he says the sergeant's fingerprints are all over. We reached out to the Elk Grove Police Department, which only replied with, due to the pending lawsuit, we are unable to provide a statement. In addition, California state law prohibits our ability to discuss ongoing personnel matters. Walter McCalla, KCRA 3 News. And the woman's attorney says after repeated requests, they still haven't been given any information from the Rancho Cordova Police Department about her rape kit sample or the fingerprints left on that cache that he allegedly left behind.